Welcome Taurus, this is Ellie from Hypno You. If you would like a private reading, please go to www.hypnoyouelly.com. If you'd like a one burning question, uh, please go to hypnoyouelly at hotmail.com. This was reading for you Taurus for April 2016. I felt compelled to do things differently this month as the angels have asked me to do things differently and I always obey. So we're going to be doing an overall focus, who it's about and how it's going to end up. So for you Taurus, this month is asking you to look after yourself financially and health wise. Now this month uh, Taurus, you're being asked to look at what's valuable to you. What is um, holding you back from having what you find valuable? Are you um, physically or financially not at a place where you want to be? Is it because you're giving too much of yourself to somebody else? Um, the Queen of Pentacles is the Queen of Health, the Queen of Wealth. She's um, she's relaxed, she's nurturing, she's giving, she's ex accomplished, uh, she's experienced. Uh, Earth signs are the Virgo, Capricorn or Taurus and this month they're asking you to um, to look at where you can start uh, a new project, starting a garden, starting a, a, a portfolio, uh, researching into how you can develop yourself further. Um, this is about promotion, this is success, this is about putting yourself forward, this is about being a leader, queens are always a leader, they are the um, authority, they run the show, and they're asking you to look more into those um, uh, characteristics of yourself. Now also this is about um, stopping and smelling the roses. Uh, this is about uh, taking time out and relaxing, uh, looking at how far you've come, at how much you've achieved. Um, you Taurus are being asked this month, um, you know, that Perhaps you're working too much or perhaps you put your work on hold. This is also about your um, health as well. This month you're being asked to uh, put yourself first, make yourself a priority. Somewhere that uh, the balance is not right. So you're specifically being told that you need to bring yourself back into the forefront. You need to slow down, smell the roses, uh, relaunch yourself, uh, nurture yourself, look after yourself and push your agenda forward. Now who, this is, who is this about? Well this is about you going out into the world with your partnerships, those people that you um, are passionately um, talking to. Uh, this is two of wands, which is about um, you know moving abroad for work. This is um, having the experience and being ready to uh, take it out into the world. This is about you launching yourself into the world. But twos are always about partnerships. So who are you in partnership with that you give more uh, than you do to yourself? Um, so this is asking you to look around you. Who takes more than they give? Who doesn't applaud when you get your success? Um, this is about you looking um, towards the future, looking uh, outside your square, looking international, looking out, because this is um, or wands, which is taking action. This is using your intuition. This is um, passion. This is success. This is um, uh, success and failure. This is um, making a choice. And, and you, it looks like you've made a choice because you've got your hand on one. Uh, and there's another one here. So it could be that you want to uh, launch yourself, you want to go this way, but this person here or this project here or whatever this is, is holding you stuck where you are. It could be that you're feeling um, restricted. It could be that you're waiting. It could be um, a decision between a lover or a um, successful job. Uh, it could be between your family and a lover. Um, there's something pulling at your heartstrings, uh, which is worldwide. You've got the world in your hands, which literally means you can go anywhere. You're ready to launch yourself. Now, the help of available to you is the King of Pentacles. So you've got the Queen of Pentacles here. Um, this also could be your mother. Uh, your mother could be very important. Your mother could be needing extra help from you. She could be needing physically unwell. Um, in, in needing you to um, tangibly, um, hands-on help her as well. But then we've got the king as well, which means that your father uh, or a um, older um, pentacles, uh, this is um, 
Virgo, Capricorn or Taurus. So this could be uh, one type of Taurus and this could be another type of Taurus. But it could also be your parents or a grandparent or an uh, authority figure. Now this person here has a lot of seeds, has a lot of um, wealth, uh, is very experienced with um, getting results. Now this could be a doctor who gets the results that you need for this family member or this could be some kind of accountant or specialist person that can help you launch because they are qualified, they know what they're doing. This is an experienced person. That is the help that's available to you. Now, the outcome is moving on. Now, this is going to take hard work. There is no motor on this boat. And this is... Um, putting this behind you and moving on. This could be old lessons from the past. Uh, if this is to do with your parents, maybe you are, uh, there's been some issues there with your parents, but you've chosen to put that behind you to help um, them out through this time. Uh, or this could also be Aquarius, Gemini or Libra, uh, an air sign who is helping you move forward uh, and leave all this behind. Um, there is a moving on um, uh, in a romantic sense. This is pulling the plug on a um, financial sense uh, and this is um, taking this challenge really personally, taking your ideas with, it, with you as you go. So if you're leaving company, you'll have um, access to all of your thoughts, any of your ideas, uh, anything that's yours, you, you will be taking with you. So I hope you've enjoyed that reading, Taurus, and I shall see you next month.